Hi. And this is a PSA. The six are high. <laughs> And you should definitely eat the steak! <laughs> I, I held that in for a while. Eh. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, we are here back today, your favourite destined duo for food. <laughs> so today we're going to be exploring the steak options in the Western food store. Yes. In the Heartlands. Correct. Right? And so, we'll find out for you guys which one is uh, uh, cut above the rest. But yeah, and we're also going to find out whether it's worth ordering above all the other mm. options. And then uh, at the end of the day, we'll see which one is... Uh, well done. Stop it. Get some help. I got a cop-out answer, la, which y'all may not like. I know already. Ah, the steak that you cook. Like, correct. Hey, he, I have to say, right? He like to boast about the steak that he cook. He Firstly, says, right, boast is a strong word, okay? <laughs> I never boast. Ever since that Eat Book Noob Cooks episode. Is it Noob Cooks? Oh my god, it's from Eat Book. Yes. Eat Book inspired you to cook. Correct. Oh. So yeah, ever since then, you have cooked good steaks. Non-stop. And I've been basting and basting and basting like that Joshua so Wiseman So it's no said. longer a mistake. No, it's not a mistake anymore. What can no, I no, say? No, no, no. Uh, yes, yes, yes. But I have to say, right, sometimes the downstairs Western food store, you know, the steak, right, hit or miss. Uh. I have one description for them. Uh. It's like cut, then cannot cut, cannot cut up. Uh. Uh. Like rubber, like. Yeah. I actually have two levels of doneness. Contro controversial. But uh, we'll go. Wait, 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 wait. Before you judge me, whoa, calm down. <laughs> I like medium rare. But. Wait, there's no but. Calm down, lady. It's still gonna be a but. <laughs> I like medium rare and. Medium. Eh, no, it should always be medium rare and more and more rare. <laughs> we have agreed that since he's on the medium to medium rare and I'm yes. on the medium rare to rare, we, means we meet the, in the correct middle. answer is medium rare. Medium rare. Are you ready to try? Yes, yeah. of course. Can you say another pun right now? We're about move. to move. Move. I was gonna say. <laughs> We are here at uh, Happy Chef, which I think is has the cutest logo, and uh, their menu is huge. You some more how to some steak, you know, so how to okay. I say we go for the rib eye. Uh. we start the day, start the day okay power. Uh. Auntie, we want uh, a spaghetti, and one coleslaw. Rib eye, we want medium, medium rare. rare. All right, ladies and gents, we will be beginning it's our time to, feast. Time uh, to eat. I want to start from the okay. bread. I'm gonna have a bit of this uh, okay. garlic bread. We do that. Mm. Mm. Even though it's a bit noir, right? The garlic spread or whatever yeah, feels the like the butter, whole bread. Yeah, and the garlic butter feels like the kind of thing, right? That is the garlic with the aloe olio got the chili on it, one. Eh. No, then it's like a bit like spicy, but then in a good garlic spice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, salad. My favorite vegetable dish. Um, my turn. But the raw feels like. Feels alright. It's coleslaw. Appreciate the garnish effort. But in terms of coleslaw, it is just regular what you expect from coleslaw. Yeah. Refreshing. Uh, I like it because I'm biased. But also, you know, nothing to shout home about. Oh, yeah. The side dish we all been waiting for. I don't want to call this a bonga longanese, but... Wait a minute! Bonga longanese, but the tomato base is uh, really good because... Ah, I feel that mm. it belongs to the sour, more sour side ah. like, of a pasta sauce. So it's like... Feels like the kind that is like right off the shelf. Eh? But I would say that it's worth ordering this because it definitely is a good choice of cups. Yes. They get so much. And like it is tasty, eh? I mean, red eh. Okay, straight up, man. It's like uh pinkish lah. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say okay, it's still it's in the category of like medium to medium rare. It smells huh? smells good. <laughs> <laughs> First comment I have is uh, Thank you Ebook for casting us for this shoot. It's really very good. I like it. Oh, it's a meaty wholesome. Eh. Yeah, it's so good. Eh. It's a meaty wholesome bite. Wah. The meat is so it's juicy. cool. Mm. <laughs> and like juicy. And it's also tender. Yes. Yeah, because I think usually the other steak I have eaten before in a uh, neighborhood kind of like Western stores are like, usually like quite rubbery. Yeah. And like very hard. Look at the doneness. I think oh, it's, it's nice perfectly eh. done. Eh. But the thing about it is that in the center where the meat is, right, there's this very, very strong umami taste. Right? Yeah, yeah. That is so good, eh. It's like as if, right, this beef, right, inside, right, 
the meat spontaneously produce MSG, but not in a oh, oh, no, no, so kind of way. But it's just delicious. And coupled together with the mushroom and the sauce, right? Okay, so the price point for this rib eye lah. Firstly, rib eye is already a more expensive cut. It's eighteen dollars. Eighteen. Eh? If I'm very honest, yeah. I think it's like slightly above my upper limit lah. I've seen those that were like ten to fourteen. Right. But then I also think that maybe that's sirloin. The thing is, right, when it came and I saw that it was this size, then I'm like, oh, okay. It's like, a double, right? Okay, suddenly, if you tell me this size, like, oh, $18, like, okay, then yeah. maybe it's not so bad. And then they give like a good amount of sides as well. Uh. So I think in that sense, I feel it's not too bad. The difference maker for me was when I put this into my mouth. Then, look, what about it? then you don't care about your bank, is it? Look, hear, hear me out, my friends. Take my money. I have spent $18 oh, on worse things. This is so good. Okay, will I come here again? Absolutely. So now we are here at um, Five Star Corner Western Food. Ah, hello. Can we order? Okay. For the number two, right, is it only black pepper sauce? Can we opt for brown sauce instead of black pepper sauce? Okay, let me get a hot plate one. How many are? One. One. How well? Medium rare. Yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we have just ordered our food from Five Star Corner, Corner Western, Western food. food. Let me run through with you guys what we have on our hot plate, which is already a USB. Okay, first things first, of course, the steak. Now we have a triangle of garlic, garlic bread. bread. Yeah. Below is baked beans. Ah. This one is uh, ah. not coleslaw. Uh, it has one of the vegetables I do not like it's to eat. It's mixed, mixed piece, right? It's the, right? It's the, it's the ah, one, yeah. Frozen okay. vegetables. But I think the interesting thing about this ah. is that there is... is Baked potato. Baked potato. We've just now got butter. You just look yeah. at the B-rolls. Now, the butter has melted into the core. First things first, the brown sauce is a plentiful. Yeah, swimming. it's like swimming. Smells good. Um, yeah, it's light pink though in the middle, so... I don't hate it. Wow, I like it. My only little gripe about it is like, wow, a bit sienna. Maybe you should say rare. Yeah. It, it, it feels a bit too medium right now. But the flavour wise is pretty good. This is clearly um, a this is probably Yeah, so it's probably a little bit leaner. But somehow, I really like the taste mm. and the flavour of this beef. No, so you can like, under order. You can order something that is rarer than uh, what you order. So By the, the time you like the sit down, Fine, sit, sit down, uh, cut up, right? Ah. Ah, just nice with the correct. Correct, correct, correct. Okay, uh, what next? Garlic bread. Garlic bread. Still dry. It's like. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really the, the basic, like. It's not spread wrong. Some, spread some spread on the bread, kind of. Yeah. Oh my god. Huh? What? The beans are different. Ah. Special. The ah. beans are the same. Do you want to try the dish? No. I think for the audience, we must. You know what? You better like, share, and subscribe. Bloody hell, are you eating this? Eh? Nay. I'm never doing I that again. Like... <laughs> okay, the potato. Wow. That was very sobering. I'm going for. Oh, it's very soft now because it's nicely baked. It smells amazing. Wow. Wow, the potato is good. Wow, the potato is <laughs> The potato is slay. Am I a Gen Z now? Okay, firstly, you don't really expect like baked potato in a coffee shop setting kind of western food store. Right. Secondly, wow, that slab of butter at the very start, along with the seasoning, right, is worth having as a side lah. So I'm combining the two fav my two favorite parts from this, which is the beef and the potato. Combo ah. Mm. At this point, right, the beef has become almost medium well. So maybe the secret sauce here is to not order it in the hot plate. Oh, if you're eating chicken chop, hot plate. If you're eating steak, don't hop it. Ah, room temperature plate. So on the signboard, it says $11, which I think is alright. For the thing that I tasted today, I personally feel that it is a little bit more expensive than what I would be willing to pay for this level. La. I feel that it is what the usual $11 steak is. So I feel like because of the price point, you cannot like expect an $18 kind of food. Right. Yeah, and I feel like the fact that they gave a potato is pretty yeah. cool. Not say not nice. La. For $10, I'm okay.
So this Sarita Western uh, food. Of course, we're gonna go for the steak. I don't know if you all can eh? see. Uncle. Uncle, we can order one beef steak. Beef steak, ah. Just one. Dunners, we want medium, medium rare. rare. Side, that sauce is what sauce? One sauce, it's not hot. Not hot, it's Okay, can, can. Thank you, Uncle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so our pecorinos is here. Yes. It smells pretty good. We are most intrigued by the bread. I am taken by the bun. Okay, go. Go for it. Mm, mm, smells uh, nice. Fried uh, bun. The bun is pretty good. Nice and fried. It's okay. La. Right, the sauce. Oh, you ate it with the sauce. Right, My part was dry. Eh. Oh, okay. Huh? Almost like a herbal. Clear uh, almost clear herbal. Eh. Soup. I'm going to try it with... I mean, it's fried, right? Need we say more? Oh, I like this one. I don't know how to explain to you, but there's some kind of fries in the world, like you know, look a bit translucent. And they're kind of damn nice, eh? This pan, right, is not soggy. And the mushroomy sauce, I don't know why. It's clear mushroomy sauce. You dip the fries in there. Like chicken stock kind. Ah, uh, but mushroom stock. Main course. No need to talk so much, really. We try it. But okay, la, turns out it's still like grey already. But I mean, look at it, la, guys. It is thinner than expected, and it's 10 bucks, so okay, no, we, not we, complaining. We I kind of like it, not gonna lie. Oh, maybe because it's so thin. Ah. Yeah. No matter you cook 30 seconds, 20 seconds, also so cool. The outside though, it's quite charred. I like that. It has the grill. Ah, yes, the, uh, the grill marks, ah. So then outside, right, it's actually a little bit crispy. I feel like in, out of all the all that we eat today, right, this one has the most like beefy taste. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah correct. Ah. Absolutely. It's definitely a, a lot gamier than the others, yeah, but yeah. it's not in a bad way. You know, it's not like gimme and then you're just like, Ugh. this one is pretty good. But also at the same time, I think the meat, because of the car, for me, ah, is. It works, ah. It, it's average. It's this price range, right? Yeah, it's what you expect oh, from a downstairs steak, which is similar to where we go just now. But I really, really think that their sauce makes it different. It's not in the green, eh? but it's too uh, green. Uh, okay, artisanal beans. Mmm. Beans. beans. <laughs> I think this is the most correlatable to its price for about 10 bucks. I think this is essentially what you get if you want to pay the bare minimum for a steak. You cannot compare it to like a rip eye card at 18 mm. bucks. Because that's like almost la, almost Double. two times. Yeah. Mm. I don't think you should be expecting so much for only wanting to pay $10. The only frame of reference I have is from the previous place which is also $10. That one had a hot plate and everything. I'm saying that the, the meat is about the same standard. But what makes it stand out for me here is the sauce is really better. I very much prefer the sauce here. So just now, right, I went to Tokan the store and they got a Wagyu stick. Oh my god! $45 Wagyu stick. <laughs> the ribeye here, $20. Maybe we ask the producers when we see how. Can we get the Wagyu? Uh, this episode is budget stick. Ah! Come on la! You Make like us right? Uh, you I like do, us. I do. Like Leave me a comment below if we are being bullied right now, you know? <gasps> okay, can, can we order uh, an Australian ribeye? Yeah. Uh, medium, medium rare, rare please. Yeah. Thank you so much. Wow, Alright ladies and gents, okay. so we are here now uh, at Smoking Joe's and our food is finally here. We saw that just now right, um, when they were like cooking it, it was really over this like oh, yeah. charcoal oven. Charcoal grill. Like wow, ah. ah, this is that high level man. Correct, correct. Okay, correct. let's try the fries. What? Wow, it looks golden and it's the kind I like, it's the, you see, look a bit translucent. Wah. Wow. Wah, wow, wow, damn nice, damn nice, damn nice. It's crispy man. I like that it's not too salty. Eh. And then the parts that are very, very crispy, right? Definitely absorb the flavor from the oil, which is probably some kind of chicken oil. oil or something. It's really good for kopi tiam standard, wow, right? Wow. 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 wow, the garlic butter smell then. Wow, wow, wow. It's the baguette kind. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. <laughs> When you realize the garlic butter get onto your tongue and then sink into your tongue and stuff, right? Means, right? Really very good. Uh. This one, uh, the charcoal grill, uh, got the charcoal grill walk here on the bread. Uh. You, you squeeze, uh, that buttery goodness, uh, taste of garlic. Eh. Wow. Now I'm excited to try this. Hear me out. Uh. I'm a lover of coleslaw and I'm also thus a proponent, right, of how it's always neglected. Ooh. Oh my god. It's so fresh. Like, 
is tangy. Yeah. The vegetables are crunchy and you it's, can tell the vegetables it's are... It's appetizing. Yes. Okay, okay, come. Okay, real one. Uh. Okay. What, what we here for? We're here for steak. Okay, it feels already uh, soft and tender. Yes, I can see. You know like the bouncy look? It really looks pink on the inside now. Yes. <laughs> I'm in heaven. <laughs> I feel like crying. Eh. I cry. Dude. Oh my gosh. This is a steak. This is a steak. What smoking Joe? Where were you, man? To be very honest, I know what's the difference between you. This steak right from this shop, right? It resembles the kind that you can get in like restaurants. Yes. That definitely cost more than $20, Hana. Actually, some other places that sell like more than $20 also like, like not as good as this. Exactly. And most and of what, them, right, you don't know whether they are on a charcoal fire. This one is an actual charcoal fire, so there's an extra dimension to the flavor. Right? I think there definitely is a there's a difference, right, between yeah. like charcoal grill. For yes. sure. Look, and according to our producers that were filming just now, right, there is no marinade. This is good meat, oh. salt and pepper, the way steak should be done, put into a charcoal oven. Yes. Grilled to perfection and come out like this. No, the I thing is like the demi glaze is also not overpowering. I think it just adds and complements it lah. Yeah. Also, we didn't put that much sauce. Yeah. So it means actually the meat itself is really very juicy. Correct. And, and, and it like, wow. Every element on this plate is good eh. Yeah. The price is also good. The curry is also good. The coast is also good. The meat. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just put it out there. Don't talk so much. Just come and eat ah. Really damn nice ah. Okay, nice. $20. And then buy eh. <laughs> the first place we went to, Happy Chef, $18 worth. This one, more worth. Honestly, right, I would never ever expect that I'll eat this standard, right, in a hawker center. Yeah, that's true. This is wild. The last three is like, they are okay, they are decent. Uh. But then like, they really, they really, it's the stereotype of the uh. like, okay, like the house downstairs, Correct. the hawker center kind. This one is like, in the hawker center, but Correct. more than hawker center level. Correct. It is one go above and beyond. Wow, easy ah. Okay, from today is definitely issues. <laughs> Smoking Joe's lah. Yeah. No, no, no contest. I have to say though, Happy Chef comes close for me. But uh, Smoking Joe's really hit it out of the park. It's really too good. Yeah, but I also think that you have to be ready to part with about twenty dollars. Ah. Yeah, before you can confidently say that like, yeah, that's what you want to eat. I have something in my mind, but okay. I don't think you'll say the same thing. You say first. I want to try house spring chicken. <laughs> okay. Fish and chips ah. No. Pork rib. If you are able to find nice pork rib, uh, and also I don't mind fish and chips. Yes. You know, leave in the comments below. If you've got any other Western food recommendations that you think, you know, it could be very specific. Maybe someone, some purists in the comments, honey. Spaghetti. Speci speci specific about cream of mushroom. Also, okay. Thank you for watching this episode of Eat Book Vlogs. If you like this video, you can watch more over there. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye. Bye bye. Today's episode was. Well done. I am Steak. out of. Let's move out. How the way. <laughs>